Okay guys, so today we are going to cover five strategic SEO techniques for publishing companies, starting with technique number one, prioritize content quality. Well, yeah, clearly, if your visitors get bored by your content, your website is not going to grow, that's for sure. So the key is to create engaging, high quality content. And this is really difficult to achieve on your own, isn't it? So a website that rank on top of Google search result is because they put a lot of combined effort into content creation. And for this, you really need Multicollab, which is the only plugin that brings Google Docs style features to your WordPress website. So let me show you. Well, basically Multicollab is built specifically to work within WordPress, ensuring a seamless content production workflow. And the best part is that you don't have to use copy and paste anymore between platforms because now you can collaborate immediately from within WordPress. And as a result, you can write and publish twice faster. But that's not all. Multicollab is also packed with features. Like for instance, add inline comments, add formatting suggestions or text change suggestions. You can also attach documents to your comments and it comes with a lot of advanced features like custom permissions, email notifications, and direct integration with Slack and other CRMs. And you can also track your progress effortlessly and filtering by users, categories, and timestamps. And the best part is that you can work together on the same document at the same time. And when either of you are making changes, the other can see from their screen which changes are taking place. I mean, how cool is that? Okay, so technique number two is to conduct keyword research. So how do you actually do keyword research? Well, there are awesome tools out there that you can use like Ahrefs, SEMrush, and also Moz. So they show you how often people search for specific terms and how tough the competition is. And they even give you new ideas. So focus on things like long tail keywords, which are more specific and check out what keywords your competitors are using. So there's a metric called keyword difficulty that's super helpful as well. Now it's not just about finding keywords, understanding the search intent behind that keyword is super important as well. So what does the person really want to find with this search? If you can answer that, your content will be that more valuable to the searcher. Now here's a quick tip. Use keywords naturally, so don't just stuff them in. That's going to hurt you in the long run. Instead, focus on creating great content that people will love with your keywords sprinkled throughout. Okay, so next, let's talk about internal linking. So this is something you might not think about much, but it's super important for SEO. So basically, internal linking is when you connect pages on your own website with hyperlinks. So why does it matter? Well, picture this. Search engines use bots called crawlers to explore your website. So internal linking is like a roadmap for those crawlers and they show the bots what's most important pages you have and how everything fits together. But it's not just the crawlers, internal linking will help your visitors as well. Let's say someone lands on a blog post on your website and then they find a handy little link related to a product page. That's great for the visitors and you might get a sale as well. Okay, so technique number four, manage duplicate content issues. So this is where you accidentally have the same or very similar content on multiple pages on your website. So you might be thinking, well, why does it matter really? Well, it's confusing for search engines. They want to show the single best page for each keyword. So if you've got duplicates, they have to choose and you might not like their decision. Also, there's a problem called content cannibalization that can happen as well. So this is where your own pages end up competing against each other. So how do we fix this? Well, there are a few ways, you know, the first one is canonical tags. So these are basically little codes that can tell search engines, this is the main version of this page, ignore the others, and then redirects, obviously, you know. So if you have straight up duplicates, well, simply set up redirects. So anyone who lands on the wrong page automatically gets sent to the right one. And then you can simply rethink your content as well. You know, if pages are too similar, try to change them. So they each target a slightly different keyword. And again, if you're using WordPress, a tool like Multicollab can really help you with this. It lets your team see content changes as they are being made. So this means that you're less likely to create duplicate content in the first place. And finally, technique number five, optimize for on-page and off-page SEO. So on-page SEO focuses on your website itself. So here's the breakdown. So first, create killer content. So write for your audience using keywords naturally 
then add clear headings for readability. And then you have the code counts, obviously, as well, you know. So optimize your title tags and meta descriptions with those important keywords. And finally, use an easy navigation. So create a clear site structure and use internal links to guide visitors and search engines. And then off-page SEO is about building your reputation elsewhere. So first, clearly backlinks matter. So get links from respected websites. So this shows search engines your content is valuable and also harvest social power. Now, while not a direct ranking factor, social media buzz boosts engagement, which indirectly helps your SEO as well. Okay, guys, so thank you for watching. Now, if you are interested and would like to try this out for yourself, we offer a 30-day free trial of our pro plan where you can test all the multicolor features Features. So for this, all you have to do is click on the link in the description below, and this will bring you to this page. And under the pro heading, simply click on this button here. Now simply enter a few details, and that's it. You're ready to enjoy the pro version of Multicolab for free for 30 days. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.